it is a brand new sensor from the ground up. It's back illuminated, meaning that, believe it or not, a lot of the sensors that are out there in the world are now, the electronics and the wiring are on top of the photosensitive material. They're in between those pixels. So we just move them underneath. So now not only do we have 12 megapixels, which gives us huge pixels, but we have even larger photo sites because those electronics are no longer in front, they're on the back. So the nerdy stuff aside, it gives us the ability to get the super high ISO performance, the 15, over 15 stops dynamic range. But on top of that, we wanted this sensor again, was purpose built for the best 4K image quality. It was purpose built to give you the best possible 4K you could possibly get because we have full pixel readout in every single mode from, from 30p, 24p, all the way up to 120p. There's no line skipping, no pixel binning. It's full pixel readout all the time and there's no compromise. So there's no asterisks, so to speak, when you're talking about the 4K image quality on this camera. Um, I don't know if I'm overstepping and getting into it early, but the autofocus of the sensor, the phase detection autofocusing system in this, the, this camera really separates itself from the Alpha 7S Mark II and brings us into a realm now of the autofocusing speed of the Alpha 9 Mark II or the Alpha 7, uh, Alpha 7R Mark IV.